And the act of baptism itself uh, tells the story of Jesus, that he came to earth and he lived a perfect, sinless life. He died in our place and was buried and then was raised from the dead. And so baptism portrays that, but it also portrays Mason's story as well, um, that he lived his life for about 11 years, but like all of us, was a sinner. We're all sinners, separated from God. Uh, but at 11 years old, he turned to Christ in faith, called out on Jesus to save him. And in that moment, uh, the, the old um, Mason was buried with Christ in his death, and he was raised into a new life. The Bible says, you know, in church, kids, a lot of times we say, you ask Jesus in your heart. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. Uh, but I think the more biblical way to describe it is that God actually gives you a new heart. The Bible says in Ezekiel, uh, we have a heart of stone. But then at salvation, he takes out the heart of stone. He gives us a heart of flesh. In other words, he, he causes us to be spiritually alive now. So it's because of Mason's profession of faith in Jesus that he's coming today to publicly profess uh, his salvation that Christ has provided for him. Right? right. Did I get all that right? Oh, yeah. All right, man, I'm excited. So Mason, upon your profession of faith in Jesus as your Savior and your Lord, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit being buried with Christ in his death and raised to walk a new life.